Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I talk about the latest streetwear releases, I talk about the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series I just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. What am I going to be discussing? I'm going to be discussing that I think that Australian fashion in winter sucks. <laughs> I know I'm really targeting my own country here to be like, you suck at fashion, get better. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. I look, I think I visually need to show you what I mean, because I feel like a lot of you guys out there can really relate to what I'm saying. I don't feel like it's an Australian problem. I feel like it's a worldwide problem we're kind of facing at the moment. Um, I'm going to show you this video from Fashion Critical, and it, it, it super focuses on the fashion in Melbourne in winter. Melbourne is not the uh, the main culprit here, it's the whole country. It's just that they were, I guess, recording in Melbourne at the time and decided to make the video. I don't know, but let's head on over to this Instagram video that I'm going to show you, and then I'll start talking about what I mean. Okay, so here's the video. I'll click play on it. This is what it's highlighting here. It says Melbourne is the fashion capital of Australia, Melbourne in winter. And like I said, this isn't a specifically Melbourne problem. This is a problem across Australia. I mean, it's not even a problem. It's such a first world thing for me to say that this is a problem, but let me get into it anyway, because I'm going to talk about it on the internet. First world problems, here they are. I just think it's really boring. I, I really dislike winter in Australia when it comes to fashion specifically. I love winter in Australia. I love winter. I love it cold. Give it to me freezing cold, rainy, I'm in. I absolutely love it. I love the colder seasons over summer. But I make this big effort to like dress up, really showcase my personal self in my winter outfits and everything like that. And this is exactly how most people in Australia dress when it comes to winter. It is just a normal spring or summer outfit. And then they throw on this huge, huge puffer jacket and call it a winter outfit. And it's kind of a bummer because um, I'm, I'm not here to beat down on anyone for these fashion choices because um, I guess like, like my main issue isn't that they chose the jacket because it's, um, I guess, unfashionable in my view. I'm just more bummed out that we're not really personalizing our winter outfits. That's my main critique here because yes, I don't really like puffer jackets. I've gone on record like a bajillion times on the channel to say that. I just like, it feels so stock standard. It's like, oh, it's a little bit cold, better chuck on the puffer jacket. And I'm like, I don't know, man, why don't we just make it a little bit more exciting? Let's throw on some awesome accessories. Let's do layer after layer after layer. And have this awesome like layered outfit going on. I just, when I see this, I feel really bummed out because I don't feel like anyone's like really grabbing winter and really seizing winter and being like this awesome cold season. Let's put an outfit together. And that's what bums me out. It's um, it's it's really that I would love to see Australia grab winter and just go crazy with it and wear awesome outfits with it, mainly so that I don't stick out as much when I walk through the streets wearing all those crazy pieces that I normally wear. <laughs> but I mean, that's fine. I actually, you know, if, if that's how it is, that's how it is. But it w like whenever I see someone wearing an awesome winter outfit in Australia, I stop for a second. I look at them and I'm like, damn that's crazy that's awesome like i'm really happy that they put all this time into personalizing that outfit putting those pieces together wearing something different like it really hits home for me it really makes me stop and just like you know really soak it in and yeah i i, I just see this 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 is all i saw in winter this year this is all i see in winter every year um i really wish we personalized it more honestly because uh, look, I'm going to be completely honest. If someone says uh, any part of Australia is the fashion capital of the world, I mean, they're completely lying because this is exactly what winter looks like and summer is so much similar. There's, there's a whole summer outfit as well, but that's a totally different video about summer outfits suck in Australia. But yeah, I mean, 
it's just disheartening to see from that angle because like I take fashion and dressing up as a really good way to showcase your interests, your personality, everything through what you wear. And this like winter uniform, it really dulls it down for me. I would just like a little bit of, you know, uh, personalization to it. Just give me anything. I'll even take like a, a brightly colored puffer jacket. Give me one in like hot pink or neon green. I'm gonna be still way more interested in that than just a black one or a single colored one. Um, I especially hate the ones that I think it shows that at some point, yeah, like these ones, the ones that like cover the whole body, those ones really aren't it. I do think it's more fashionable when you wear ones that are cropped and stuff like that. You do get some points for me from that one because I think that's kind of cool. But um, I wish Australia really got around like wools and like, you know, natural animal fabrics and stuff for winter because like I could just imagine Australians wearing like awesome knit sweaters, able knit sweaters, leather jackets, like fantastic pieces like that. But we opt for this. I feel bad. I don't feel I don't feel good calling myself Australian looking at these outfits. <laughs> I want us to do better, but I don't know. That's that's kind of just where I was going and what I wanted to express in this video. I'm, as I said, I'm sure this is not an Australian only problem. It's definitely not a Melbourne only problem because you see this across the country. Whenever it gets slightly cold, it's the let's just wear my standard outfit and throw on a puffer jacket. And I just wish Australia seized it more. I just wish we were like, oh, it's cold. I'm going to wear that awesome winter outfit that I can only wear in winter. I would love that. But Australia is not going to change for me. I've just gonna got to keep living in Australia and keep doing my own thing, I suppose. But let me know if you guys experience the same thing, if you feel the same way. Um, Australians out there, do you think it's an epidemic? Do you think it's a problem? I wish we personalized our fashion a bit more in winter. I wish we wore more eccentric and interesting things. We're just so boring. So boring in winter. But Australians out there, chime in, let me know, am I wrong? Is this a wrong, just one video capturing all these people and it's not, you know, everyone? I feel like you can't argue that it's not everyone because this is literally everyone that I see. But anyway, let me know how you feel about it, Australians, in that comment section below. And honestly, for that matter, uh, everyone else in the world, let me know how you feel about it. <laughs> I feel like I was kind of excluding everyone there, saying only Australians let me know, but the rest of you guys out there are probably in the same boat, right? Like, you probably feel the same way that fashion in winter in your area of the world sucks as well. Are you guys overrun by the puffer jacket pandemic? That's actually a pretty good tagline right there. I probably should have called the video that. <laughs> Winter's been infected by the puffer jacket pandemic. Oh, well, you figure it out later, don't you? I'll just stick with the original title. We'll go with that. But yeah, um, it's I, I don't like it. I wish we did better. But let me know. Let me know if your country is overrun by the same thing. Are you uh, taken over by the puffer jacket pandemic? Let me know down in that comment section below. And if you want me to do more videos like this, what I kind of critique and look at, you know, styles across Australia or talk about fashion in Australia, let me know. Let me know by giving me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,880 subscribers before the end of September. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to reach that milestone before the end of the month. But I think that's enough about my puffer jacket pandemic. Um, I, unless we have to talk about it in part two, I would love to see Australia embrace a lot more different silhouettes for winter personalize it a lot more, make it interesting. I want to walk through the streets in winter and the colder seasons in the year and look at these awesome outfits and be like, wow, look at us. Look at what we're doing here. This is fantastic. I love it. But I know that's a big ask. Maybe it's never going to happen. I can at least voice my opinion here on the internet and you guys can listen to it. <laughs> that's what it's for, right? That's what the internet's for. Just 
echo chamber, right? Oh well, who knows? I just wanted to come out here and say how I felt about it, guys. But until the next streetwear talk video, until the next sneaker talk video, until the next, I guess, drop list video in general, I'll catch you later.